enjoyed this video, please remember to hit the like button below. If you would like to be notified of future content, please subscribe. What's up guys, just with Jake Gap here. Today I've got a hands-on overview of the just announced Apple iPod Nano 7th generation. This is based on some footage out of the Verge and Engadget. And as you guys can see from first looks, it is redesigned and I'm not too sure about this design. I do like the functionality, however, I do not really like the look of it. It does have a two and a half inch screen. It comes in at the thickness of just 5.4 millimeters. It's just about the size of the credit card and it does also have a home button. This could be a good change compared to the 6th generation which was pretty small and hard to navigate however you could use it as a watch which many found handy. Taking a look at the screen as you can see there are 6 icons and pretty much this device's sole purpose still stays the same to just listen to music however you can store some applications such as the Nike running app to keep track of your running and on the bottom you can see Apple's new small lightning port which is 80% smaller than the 30 pin dock and also the headphone jack is located on the bottom as well. Just go ahead and take a look at the thickness of that. It has a home button and the volume button on the side. And the new iPod Nano in terms of the software it does also have a few new features such as Bluetooth 4.0 and it does also have FM radio compatibility. So thanks for watching guys. This is just the overview of the just announced Apple iPod Nano 7th generation. I'll see you in my next video. If you enjoyed this video, please remember to hit the like button below. If you would like to be notified of future content, please subscribe.